Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with another video. Um, I'm all excited because I got my tickets. I'll be going home in May to Vermont to visit my family. And uh, my uh, my whole pen hobby and pen and stationery hobby has really exploded since the last time I, I got to go home, which was about a year and a half ago. So I started looking at what I typically use every day, and and this is this is a stack. This is very min minimal. Usually it would be more, but at least I use all of these things in this stack. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd weigh it to see. Well, gee, doesn't really look like I could take all this with me, right? <laughs> and uh, so I weighed it, and it came out to five pounds. 10.8 ounces, five pounds, 10.8 ounces. That's a lot of weight. Um, I'll be carrying a backpack and uh, that'll be with me at all times. The things that I don't want to lose, you know, and um, and I'll have a suitcase that'll be checked. So, and I have, I have three flights. So, you know, it's, it's quite a journey. Then I have a rental car and then I have some driving to do. So anyway, I thought what I would do is work on trying to consolidate this and then as I was doing this it, it became fun it really is fun even though it's a little bit terrifying too because I love all these things and I use them every day but you don't do the same when you're on a on a trip and I'm sure any of you who go on trips have to deal with this same kind of subject so let's just see you know what's going on here when when I was starting we'll we'll kind of look at everything so I always have one uh, pen roll with um it's a rickshaw uh, hand roll with my Twisbees. And these pens are interesting because when you fly, if you're going to take these with you, um, you know, they say if you keep them upright, well, then you're okay. But I I'm not going to fly with uh, <laughs> loaded uh, piston filling Twisbees. I'm not going to do that. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense really for me to take my beloved Twisbees with me because they hold so much ink and... Um, yeah, you know, I'm only going for two weeks. Whoops. I have done something to something. I'll have to look at that later. Um, I'm only going for two weeks, so probably these need to stay behind. But, uh, you know, just, just for practical purposes so that I'm not having to redrain the ink back into a, um, you know, vial. And I can do that, but... You know it just I don't want any leaks and I certainly don't want anything ruined so but this is the a daily use item for me um, the six pens and and the hand roll so then um, I just recently moved back into this I, I typically use my Knox and Claire and uh, I do st I love that but this has just been a recent rotation that that I've been using my Lahit Labs um, pen case I really like it but I've just moved into it, so it's not really well organized. I've got, I usually put my Lamy's here and then some of my, um, you know, overflow. Like I didn't, I actually have all the Twisbees except the Mini in the roll. And then this one over here with the Jin Hao. I kind of usually have a plastic pen in the middle to keep them from clanging. And then I've got all kinds of, I mean, this is a, this is a Varsity. And then I've got some Wing Sungs and some, um, preppies and things like that that are in here and then this one gets a special treatment this this is uh the heinz pen that i love and have that inked up all the time so you know but again this is too many pens to take and i don't want leaking so whatever i take for pens needs to be uninked and it needs to be ready for either a cartridge or um you know a, a fill from a vial or whatever so okay there's that and then, then we get into the journals. Then there's my daily um, traveler's notebook and passport size that I use for my eating, which right now it's got it's missing something because I'll show you the setup that I came up with that I'm hoping I'm going to play with it for, you know, a couple days and see how it works. Um, th this this has really worked out perfectly for me to be able to uh, track all my eating and keep track of. Uh, carbs that are in certain foods and I've got little lists and things like that so there's that that's I mean that's right by the right by the table for where I eat and it's always with me and I have to have something like you know for that and then this one while well, I removed the pen right now just for the next thing I'm going to show you this is the little um Tao tree uh, notebook that I got on Chris Rap 52's recommendation uh, on his channel it's a wonderful wonderful notebook um 
it takes all the pens, even in the broad nibs, and it, oh, the paper's just wonderful. So um, I've really been enjoying this, and it's a nice little size, but again, um, this alone would be fine, you know, or a couple of these, but th these, oh dear, you know, I'm a, I'm a real journal person, and uh, so here's another one, here's the Cafe Note, which I'm now, I, I was using strictly to track my um, uh, low-carb journey, and, and, and then also showing you guys in the ink videos, and, and now I've, I have just a little bit of it left, this much, and I'm using it now to track uh, some, kind of some personal journaling at the end of the day, and I'm hoping, really hoping they come back in stock at uh, Nanami Paper Company because, um, gosh darn it, I finally found the perfect size with the nice Tamoy River paper, and I, can, I don't seem to be able to ever find it in stock, but anyway, um, I'll continue with that journal. I probably just won't take it with me. And then, whoops, I guess I was just in this because I left it all discombobulated. This is uh, my bullet journal. I just did a video um, with this, um, this whole notebook cover review and everything. So, um, this is heavy. You know, just by itself it's heavy. And it is what I typically use. And I took it last trip. I, I mean, the one that I had. It wasn't this one. It was my yellow one. I took it, and it was heavy. It was heavy in the backpack. It, it just, I don't know. Um, yeah, and yeah, I use it as a planner. I don't i don't always do just straight-out journaling in it, which I could, but I, I like to make those books really last, and they last me about a year. So, you know, I've got my fountain pen here and my little gray pen here. And so there's this. And then there's a, just messy journaling goes into this one. This I call it a process notebook. For me, so that I, you know, I don't. I'm not afraid to be messy in this one here, and I do quite a bit of pre-planning and all kinds of planning in this one uh, before I actually get into my bullet journal and really do the the nice spreads where I can then keep it and have it as a collection. So, but again, this is heavy, and this is also big. You know, it would go in my backpack, but. Oh my goodness, I need to travel light. So I've been working on it, and I've come up with something which I think is going to work, and I thought I would just show you. <laughs> but it's a little terrifying to think of going from all of those favorite things to not so much. Um, but it did pay off in weight-wise. So, okay. So what I came up with was I thought... There goes my map. I, I really wanted that to be up here, but I'll get it in a minute. I thought that if I kind of had a space limit uh, by choosing one of my pouches that that would help. So this is the pouch I chose. I, I, I'm not worried about this one. Like I don't, um, I mean, I wouldn't want to lose it. No, but, but it's like, I don't know. I've, I've really heavily used this one. So I know it's not something I'm going to be afraid of getting ink on or, you know, I'm just not afraid of it. And, and it wasn't very expensive. So inside I've put some stuff <laughs> And what I came up with, what I thought maybe would work for me, would be to use one of my traveler's notebooks. And this is a pocket-sized Chick Sparrow in the uh, Pemberley English Roses, or English Rose. Um, you know, it's a nice size. It's, it's a little bigger than the, uh, than the passport size. A little bit taller. And, of course, the inserts are a little different. So... Um, this is what I came up with, I, and I haven't finished, like I've got a little washi tape here, and I'll probably put some more, um, or something, stickers or something like that, and I've gone ahead and transferred my, um, this is passport size, even though, you know, this is for a, a pocket size, but I don't, I don't want to interrupt the flow, so I'll just make sure before I leave that I have enough pages for my trip, and if not, I'll have to transfer into another one, so, um, you know, so that I stay in one insert for what I'm eating and my fasting interval and all that. And then I got this one, this Claire Fontaine one. Um, it'll hold anything, so that's good. It'll hold any of my fountain pens that I decide to take. Oh, and that was a that was a broad nib just testing on it. Of course, it's Claire Fontaine, so I already know that anything I'm going to write with, uh, other than Noodler's Blue Bonnet, I guess, might go through it. But we aren't going to take that on a trip. So, so this will just be for just journaling and writing, and then um, for messy, like, well, not messy, but lists, and I'll, I'll end up with a little keepsake, it'll be this, this is a log and jotter, a special one, 
and I decided I'm going to use it. You know, it kind of goes with my theme. I love it. I wanted to show my mom the pouch and the notebook. So I'll probably come in here and just each day have my checklist. And if I overflow, I can go to the next page. Or if I think I'm going to use a whole spread, then fine, I can start here and just use the spread. It's small. It's not what I'm used to, and it terrifies me, but I think I can do it. You know, I don't have to have the great big heavy loistrum on a trip where I'm maximizing my time with my family and stuff. And then, um, okay, so so that'll be really good. And, and, and this will be here for security in case I need to really write a lot. You know, like I get a lot of thoughts I don't want to forget. And that happens. I mean, I get really good ideas when I'm up there. So, um, okay, that's those three. And then I've got the Birmingham Pen Company one that I, I guess I forgot. I thought this was either, I thought it was dot grid or line, but it is... Um, it is plain, so I'm not sure. I, I may switch this out before I even leave, but I know that my fountain pens will do really good on it. So, anyway, that's that's my setup. Very, very beginning. This is the one I'm confident with. I'm using it all the time. And I'm going to, you know, I'll probably do a little bit of practice <laughs> in some of these smaller ones just to make sure I can handle such a small page. I think I can, I, and I need to use what I have, so... And then my pen that I put here for right now is the Caveco Perkio. And I, I love this pen. And it has the advantage of, um, you know, when I flush this and clean it, uh, I can just bring my, um, a couple cartridges and something that I know I like. And I've got a hundred, you know, I'm not a hundred. I've got several of the cartridges that will fit in this. So that that's going to be real easy. And this one, it flushes and cleans really easily. So, you know, like like my lamis do so so that's what I decided to do you know I like this it's got a place back here for little p pieces and things and then I've got my little zipper pouch um, that wraps around and I, I'll probably take a picture of my cats a picture of my husband you know things like that but I haven't put them in yet and then I've got more room here and here so I mean I'm just trying to you know how it is you've got to move into it and you've got to feel comfortable otherwise it doesn't feel like your journal so um, this actually is the purpose, I guess, of a traveler's notebook is to kind of make it smaller, you know, have the switch outable notebooks and be able to ha lighten it up and, and go, you know, travel. So I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm thinking so far, I don't have a pen in here right now, This, but this is my beloved uh, rickshaw inktopus um, pen sleeve. And I did go ahead and load in what I think I'll be taking. I think what I'll take is my Lamy Necks, which, um, uh, you know, will take cartridges as well. Yeah, actually, that's what's in there right now, I think. Let, let me check. <laughs> I'm Wow. Yeah, okay. I have a nice cartridge in there. Too bad, too. It was my last one of the Lamy Violet. But I think I could fix that. And uh, I do have some uh, turquoise and some plain dark blue Lamy. Okay, and then um, I'll probably take this one. The The next is a medium nib, and this is a fine nib. And I know this doesn't bleed through. I, I'm pretty sure it'll even do okay on my log and jotter notebook. You know, and I would have to kind of count on that because uh, those are a little bit less fountain pen friendly. So I would I would have these pens that I've shown, the three, and I would, I would have them all flushed out and have the appropriate cartridges, you know, in here, probably in a little zip baggie. And then I'll have my pencil because, you know, there's nothing like having a pencil to just let your hair down and write and, you know, no problem. My little ruler. And I don't know if I'll take these or not, but I do love them. And they are um, the Mach 3 uh, 0 0.38. They're, they're really nice teeny tiny line pens that are just real convenient. So I'm thinking about that. Of course, this would be a good place for cartridges too, so I'll, I'll think about it some more. Um, but it's nice to contain it so I, I don't have it rolling out all over the place. So that's what I've done. And I came up with um, the weight of this the whole pouch here. Ended up weighing 1 pound, 2.3 ounces. So it, it ends up weighing like one hardcover book, basically. A, a good sized one, yes. But that's that's good. That's all my journaling supplies it. And... Um, there may be other little tiny bits that I need to add to it. But it's it's amazing how it feels when you start to try to think about going anywhere 
and you've got all these favorite journaling things and, and fountain pens and notebooks and stuff. It's like, wow, it just, it doesn't go, um, it doesn't fly as well. So <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, there's a lot more to think about because I'll be going, let's see. I guess I folded the, the map wrong. Yeah, I probably folded it wrong. So I'll be landing like in Burlington, Vermont, and then I'll be driving to Morrisville. It's about an hour to see my mom. And then I'll be driving the back roads to what's home, which is, well, I'm going to be staying with my brother, so I'm going to be going up this way. And actually, I claim Holland as my hometown because that's where we lived <laughs> when I was a girl every weekend, and we, we lived in a tiny little... Um, place called West Glover when I was really little so that was cool and then Holland and then Morgan and everything is home up here uh, high school was in Newport uh, Derby is where all the you know shops and things are in in Newport so it's you know it looks like a massive distance right from the airport all the way up almost to the border but it isn't really it's a couple hours it's you know if you really really take the back roads it's two and a half hours but I don't know. People used to say they could do it in two hours. I can't. I'm, I'm not quite that good. So, <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be quite an adventure. And I wanted to, um, you know, kind of work on the idea of having a good time with my journaling, but not not being uh, dragging and, and, and you know, um, pulling my shoulder out, <laughs> out or hurting myself because I've actually... You know, I've, I've actually overdone it with my backpack in the past. Because when I was young, I could carry a 29-pound backpack. You know, I could carry camera equipment. I had all kinds of heavy 35-millimeter camera equipment and another bag. And, oh, no, now it's one backpack and I weigh it. I make sure and I kind of haul it around the house a little to see if I can do it. Because, um, you know, a couple little shoulder issues and that's all it takes. But... Okay, so um, let me know if this is a subject you've ever had to deal with. You know, you're going to travel. You want to take some of your favorite things. You kind of have to narrow down from the, you know, what some people might call ridiculous, but I don't really think it's ridiculous. I just love to journal all different ways and all different notebooks, you know. But um, I'm definitely very, very grateful that I have the uh, Traveler's Notebook so that I could put it, really put it to the test and see does it, does it meet all my needs in a book this small? You know, it'll be very interesting. And I think it will. And I think if I get home and there are things that I really want to um, preserve or, um, you know, keep, I really think then I can transfer it right into my book. I could even, you know, um, rip pages out and washi tape them in. And, you know, if I want to make sure that I'm cataloging everything in that main bullet journal, I can do that. So... You know, there's, I just have to kind of remember that there's no rule. It's just whatever we decide works the best. So, and I do think this pouch is going to work out. It's, it's a little bit lumpy with all that in it, but okay. So let me know what you think. Uh, you know, whether you've had to deal with this before and uh, what does it feel like? Am I, I'm, I hope I'm not the only one that feels like I'm leaving children behind when I leave fountain pens and notebooks and you know, things behind. Now, I've always kind of been this way, but I used to be more in just one notebook at a time, and, and it's gotten a little out of hand probably lately, <laughs> you know, but um, so there it is. There it is. I'm just putting it out there. Kind of more of a fun and chatty video, not, not, maybe not serious, definitely not a review, so. All right, I look forward to your comments, and with I will be uh, moving on to the, uh, the next ink, which is Midnight Blue, hoping to have that out in a couple of days. So I will see you next time. Bye for now.